Contemporary anecdotal sources also provide insight, such as Major General Oliver O. Howard's response to historian Simon Wolf. I had a Jewish aide-de-camp, one of the bravest and best, in the first battle of Bull Run. He is now a distinguished officer of the army, a man of high scientific attainment. I had another aide who was killed in the Battle of Chancellorsville, a true friend and brave officer. Two of my brigade commanders who answered to the above description, one of whom you have mentioned, served ably and faithfully at Gettysburg and in the other great battles of the war. So many of the German officers and men, the Poles and the Hungarians, were of Jewish lineage that I am unable to designate them. I can assure you, my dear sir, that intrinsically, there are no more patriotic men to be found in the country than those who claim to be of Hebrew descent. The 48ers had valuable military experience. They identified with the Union's cause, as it resonated deeply with what they had already shed blood for. America adopted them, and they, in defending its Union, were not going to suffer defeat again. They come over and they bring with them the values and the ideals that uh, became known as the uh, ideology of the 1848ers, the 48ers.